beautiful wings that she just showed you. There are 20 some odd species of albatross in the world. The least on albatross is one of the smallest. As I mentioned, she weighs five and a half pounds. And if she were to spread her wings out from tip to tip, her wingspan is my height. So she has a five and a half wing foot wingspan as well. And their wings are also, again, what makes them different from gulls. Gulls have to flap their wings a lot to get up in the air. Albatross don't. With just a few flicks of their wings, they can glide on those currents. And it allows them to stay aloft for days at a time, and even hours without ever having to flap their wings. And they're going to be, like I mentioned earlier, a pelagic animal because they spend most of their life out in the open ocean. So this clip right here is of a single albatross. You'll see it leave its home island and come back. That's when a chip is on the nest. The second series of lines is when there's no chip. And you'll notice that they head much, much further away from land and spend a pretty good amount of time before coming back. Now, as I mentioned to you all, Makana is one of the smaller species of albatross. She is, however, full grown. She is 12 years old. Uh, her estimated lifespan is somewhere about 40 to 60 years. So she's gonna be here a while. Uh, and she is an incredible bird. The largest of the albatross is the wandering albatross with a wingspan of about 11 and a half to 12 feet. Now, as I mentioned, Makana came to the aquarium because she sustained a wing injury when she was very, very young. She got here when she was almost six months old. So this is Makana as an adult. This is Makana as a kid. I know, wasn't she cute? And like I said, she suffered a wing injury. She came to the aquarium and her job is to educate our staff, our volunteers, and our guests about the growing problem with plastics that these birds are encountering in the wild. Now, one of the albatross' favorite food to eat, and I mentioned it earlier that Makana was enjoying, is squid, which is definitely an animal after my own heart. And what these birds will do is they will land on the surface of the water, and they will gulp down squid after squid after squid. And recently in the world's ocean, these birds are finding something that's not squid, but they're still eating it. Of course, I'm referring to plastic. Now, historically, single-use plastic was kind of seen as the way of the future, right? You used it once, then you threw it away. But where's the way? You know, I hate to tell you all this, but there is no way. Pretty much every single piece of plastic that has ever been made is still